Are you exhausted all day? Do you feel and sense that you're being attacked, but you can't get to the root of it? Do you wake up with scratches on your body, have nightmares? Maybe you're having perverted sexual dreams and you've not done anything to bring that upon you. I'm not looking at pornography. You're not look Listen, these are all potential signs of nocturnal warfare. And there's so many more. There's like 25 signs of nocturnal warfare the Lord gave me. But the reality is people don't teach on this, right? And so because this is not widely taught in churches, Christians are largely ignorant of this realm of warfare. See, Paul the Apostle was effective in spiritual warfare. He said this. He said, I'm not ignorant of the devil's devices. And sometimes people in churches are ignorant. They just think, oh, well, I just had a bad dream or, oh, well, I just slept poorly last night. Maybe you did. Not everything's a devil. But maybe, just maybe, you're dealing with nocturnal warfare. You know, I've helped so many people deal with this and overcome it. Well, let me just back up. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is a School of the Spirit TV presentation. Listen, here's the thing. Nocturnal warfare is warfare that happens at night, but it's more than warfare that happens after the sun goes down. Nocturnal warfare typically happens to keep you from sleeping or to disrupt your sleep or to do things like put curses on you while you're asleep, right? And so this is serious. And because it's not taught about, much of the church is ignorant to it and they're helpless to do anything about it because they don't discern what's really going on. You battle all day, you battle all day, you battle all day and nothing changes in the night because you're not equipped with the right weapons, the right strategies, the right tactics to overcome it. I feel your pain because I've dealt with this a lot, more times than I can tell you. And I want to teach you how to overcome this biblically. I want it because nocturnal warfare, it's, it's real, man. It's real. I mean, I was attacked by demons in my sleep more times than I can count on two hands. And then the aftermath of the attack, I'd wake up exhausted, found myself stuck in this vicious cycle. It affected every area of my life. The nighttime warfare rippled into daytime warfare. And so these attacks really seemed random, but they weren't random at all. They were calculated. And I suffered from these attacks until I learned what I'm going to teach you, how to shut it down. Now I sleep in peace. So I've got a seven-part series over there at schoolofthespirit.tv slash nocturnal warfare, including a free class on three signs of nocturnal warfare. You can go over there and see that free class. But I'm going to teach you the reality of nocturnal warfare. Like I'm going to prove it in scripture. It's all over the Bible. Why the enemy attacks at night? Why, why does he do that? Why? How the enemy attacks at night? the ways, the strategies, the mechanisms, then also subtle signs that you're experiencing nocturnal warfare because you might not notice this. You might not discern what's happening. Then how spirits that attack you at night, the spirit, sometimes an enemy won't leave unless you name it by name. Sometimes the demon won't bow unless you name it by name. I, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Listen, sometimes we need to know the root of a thing so we can lay an ax to it. Then there's how we open doors to nocturnal attacks. Because if you have an open door, you can bind and loose all day long, but you're not going to change a thing. You've got to shut the door. And then finally, breaking nocturnal warfare attacks. This is going to bring deliverance to you, perhaps your children. Some of you are dealing with kids who are experiencing massive nightmares, all sorts of issues in their sleep. And we want to help you set your kids free. So I want to ask you, how much is it worth to shut the devil out of your life? Listen, I want you to go over there, check out the free class, about 30 minutes long that I taught on this. It's at schoolofthespirit.tv slash nocturnal warfare. That'll give you a hint. It'll give you a, a, a foreshadowing. Of something. It'll help you identify with what's going on. I really believe in this season, as darkness begins to cover the earth, this is one of the key strategies of the enemy against Christians and unbelievers at such a time as this. I really believe this is an in-season series that you can grab a hold of and you listen. You don't have to face these attacks anymore. You don't have to walk around exhausted. You don't have to walk around with hidden curses on your life. You don't have to walk around, you know, being tormented by perverse sexual demons in your sleep. It's not, you, you can take authority over it in Jesus name, but you need to understand thoroughly what you're dealing with, right? You need to understand scripturally what this is, how, why it happens, how it happens, the signs and symptoms of it, the names of the spirits, how the open doors are, you know, need to be shut and then you can break it. Right. And so go over there, school of the spirit TV slash nocturnal warfare, school of the spirit TV slash nocturnal warfare. And I want to pray for you, Father, in Jesus name, I thank you that you are a good God Lord. begin to give us revelation. Help us to understand. 
Help us, Lord, to press into the truth that sets us free from nocturnal attacks. Help us to take our authority over this by not being ignorant of the devil's devices, but being aware and of the underst- understanding the power that's in your name to break every chain. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Check it out, guys. You'll be glad you did. School of the Spirit TV slash nocturnal warfare. I studied this for years and years and years before I've taught it, and I've studied it for hours and hours and hours to put this course together for you. I know it's going to bless you. I know it's going to solve the problem. I love you guys. I'll see you on the other side.